Familiar Extreme, says Alpha. Very well. I mean, it's a pretty good one. It's horrifically difficult, but we also get to see the most of our... Uh, of our chat scrubs. So let's go. So Alpha Gamo hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free from the threat of zombies, and with nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, she decides to brave the death road and travel north. If you have little or no food, some traders will pity you and give free stuff. That they do. Let's read another hint. Fire can clear out an army of zombies if you're lucky. It's very dangerous to use indoors. Well, thanks for that. Let's hit the road. So we start out pretty happy with our morale, and to start the journey, we decide to grab some supplies. Will we hit up the Walmart, the house on the road, or the quiet factory? Now, with all these decisions, it is up to the team, and if it's a split decision, the captain's vote gets an extra point of waiting. So Alpha says the Walmart of normal, Brute Queen backing it up. So let's do this. It's been looted, but maybe there's still some stuff inside. Let's go bargain hunting. Alpha Gamo brings a stick. Brute Queen brings her meaty fists. Which means we will be maining the Brute Queen here. If we check the stats, Brute Queen has super amazing strength. Alpha Gamo, we just don't know, except they have good loyalty. So let's punch zombies to death. Now, sadly, I can't pick up cars yet, but I'm sure we'll get there. What we need are some better hand-to-hand -hand weapons, because you've already managed to break your twiglet. I don't really count a uh, umbrella as a good weapon. It's only good for that one event you get when you're walking. Ah, forget that. You have this. <laughs> At least this way you'll have a weapon, even if it doesn't last for long. But a testament to our crazy strength, we can even pick up entire pallets and chuck them about. That's just how strong Brute Queen is. They got super swole from their last trip to Canada, and I guess they think they can just do it all over again. And they're probably not wrong. Well, he's just knocking zombies around left and right. Unfortunately, we're a bit stuck here. Unless I can pull one of these out. There we go. Yoink. So we're so swole, we can just rip entire bathroom fixtures out of the wall and kill the zombies with it. It's a pretty... it's pretty swell being Brute Queen. Is this thing even breakable? Yeah, there we go. Meaty Fists is a pretty good weapon because it's very low on stamina usage. Uh, that said, I'm quite pooped from ripping out all these fixtures. Chunk! Unfortunately, there's no... Uh, no biofuel to pluck out of the toilets here. Can I rip the toilets out? Not as far as I can see. So we got ourselves a shotgun. It's rather nice. Oh, I actually have bullets for it. Well, I'll be damned. We got five shells. Anything I'm missing here? A little bit of food. Don't mind if I do. Otherwise, I think we've cleaned this place up. Just give it another quick check. It feels like we didn't get a lot. I guess shotgun's quite nice, but with with fists this meaty. Who even needs shells? Got all the guns we need right here. Alright, let's get going. Only five food, but a whole load of fuel. That's pretty good for a Yalmart. Pretty damn good, actually. Well, the group finds a large campsite occupied by a few cartloads of other survivors. Camping with survivors is risky, but there's nowhere else to go. Do we camp with them, rob them, tell them to cool it, or do we go off with no sleep? Now, it's worth pointing out that Brute Queen only has two health, so she's extremely vulnerable to bad events. That said... Early days, the choices should be kind of simple. Brute Queen wishes to simply camp with them. Alpha Gamo says if Brute Queen is too scared... We camp. Well then, let's camp up. Uh, we take a risk, go to sleep in the crowded camp. One of the other groups learns about the trip to Canada and give you some supplies, because they say you'll need it more than them. They give us bullets and food. 
and meds and we're all happy and we eat a decent meal. Wow! I love that group. As the group searches an abandoned house, a miracle happens. There's a government ration box, but there's dog poop right on the handle. Now, morale is super high. We could probably deal with the dog poop situation, but it's still the biggest challenge that our team has faced yet. Also, I had no idea that you could... Uh, that you could get goods from that camp. Ed Bop is asking if I've given up on the Elven Division. No, that will be continuing this weekend. Alpha Gamma commands Brute Queen to open it up. This could be a big deal. Get to it, Brute. Oh. Brute Queen tries to nudge the poo off the box, the piece of wood, but it goes horribly wrong. She gets grossed out pretty bad. This is by far the worst thing to happen to Brute Queen in the zombie apocalypse, and she will never, ever be the same. Permanent morale penalty, morale down to unhappy, but we get 16 food. Not bad, not bad at all. The group spots an infested city from the road, and scouting it from far, the group has to decide whether to fight under the no uh, noon sun for supplies. Where are we going to go to? The medical clinic or the arcade? Arcade will train shooting, which Brute Queen is already pretty good at. We don't know about Alpha. However, the medical clinic could have some medical supplies, of which we have seven, but probably nobody that's any good at medical. Brute Queen wants to go to the arcade. Alpha Gamma says yes, shooting is better. Better think ahead who you want to train in that shooting. I want to hang around forever sussing that one out. All right, let's go. I did choose the arcade, right? It's normally, normally the first thing you see. It's all right, we have super strength, which means we can just pick up everything around us and hurl it around. Poor guy there doesn't stand a chance. A floored zombie gets destroyed real easily. Let's bring this with us, might be handy. Chunk. What I'd actually like is for a brute queen to get even more fitness. Ow, almost got eaten there trying to pick up that bed. For some reason, that bed is too heavy for me to pick up. And that'd be super bad, because Brute Queen is low on hell, low zombo point. Nice. Super uncommon, but nice. We need all those we can get. Like I said, I still have stuff to upgrade and to even unlock in this game. What a rubbish home. Let's go. If we're lucky, we'll get the reward for max hit points. Yeah! It's pretty rare. But getting Brute Queen with plus two max HP would be tremendous. Because, I mean, look at her. She's carrying you, Alpha. Carrying you hard. Well, there's a lot of zombies here. Where's our arcade, though? <sighs> ah, I do love picking up big objects and just murdering people with them. Mop is pretty good at throwing enemies to the ground, but still, our big meaty fists of justice are plenty. At least until we find something incredibly strong like a big freaking log, that would do. Time's a wasting though, come on. Jake, on rare occasions I've seen city blocks not have what they claimed they would have. Yeah, no kidding, I've uh... I've been to a trader camp, a regular one, that's empty and has zombies pouring into it. So you can get some weird bugs in this game. Ah, here we go, the Quarter Eater. That's the kind of arcade I remember. Not for you, zombie. Okay, now I should have the strength. Jesus! Watch yourself. Whilst I'm busy 
picking up all the things and destroying them. Okay, I saw the arcade there, but I'm going to wait because it passes time to use. We might only have one, though. Hmm. Is this really our lot? Well, who's training up their shooting? That's the question. Also, uh, dangerous times here. Zombies are plenty. Root Queen is our young hero. She should train. I'm willing to agree with that. Dang, Alpha's in this for blood. Getting a bit tuckered out, though. Finish off the zombies with our meaty fists. And then we're good. Let's play some shooty games. Alright, play that arcade game. You play Ultra Death, you really get into it. Your shooting goes up, your morale goes up to... Meh. But we passed two hours. Thankfully, because we had backup, we don't get swarmed by zombies for it. But really, that's all we get in here? Well, if that's our lot, then we're out of here. Taking this with me. Arcade souvenir, if you will. It's a shame we got nibbled, but we should be finding out somebody's medical. So, in a sense, it's kind of good that we got nibbled. Oh, trust me, I'm able to see the bright side of everything. And we got the meds that we'll use to patch ourselves up, right? So there we go, Alpha Gemma was patched up by Brute Queen. We find that the Brute Queen is our best medic with absolute minimum medical stuff there. We couldn't find any shelter, so we had to cobble together a campsite. Morale goes down, which is super bad for Brute. Uh, but we eat, dis we eat a decent meal, at least. The group runs into a very out-of-place vending machine. It looks like somebody made it from chunks of scrap iron. Its lights are still on. Everything in the machine costs $20, and the group has about that much in wrinkled, frayed bills. Do we leave it alone? Buy a gasoline can, a new hat, or a random totem pole? Also consider who's going to fill it up, because it's a huge morale hit to feed the dollars into this thing. Oh, it's a Rutum Tutum Rifle. What did I say? Random Totem Pole. Sounds like something I would say. Brute wants the rifle, and Alpha says rifle. I'll do it. Sure. It'll be very annoying. Well, on you go, Alpha. It takes forever to feed in the dollar bills. The vending machine keeps spitting them out. Morale down, but a loaded cowboy rifle pops out. Just a regular cowboy rifle? Well, I mean, it's better than no cowboy rifle. So I'll take it. I'm surprised you didn't go for the hat, though. Sounds cool. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. Well, that's okay, because we are swole enough to put it back together. Uh, so, who's this weirdo? Well, he's asking us to buy my bombs. Let's just back away slowly. This is a free cool it opportunity at the trader camp. Worth remembering that. But there's also all this cool stuff we can buy. The food is only going to be robbed from us, remember? So, uh... Wait, what What do you offer us? Mechanical skill? Well, we're pretty awful at that already, most likely. We have nothing that indicates we'll have any hope with mechanical here. Is this good old familiar extreme? Of course it is. Oh ho ho, yes! How about trade for your bombs? Look, look at this! I was just talking about this! How is this possible? Maybe WAD? I haven't had this happen in a long while though. Okay, we are severely short on blunt weapons, so here, have a knife as well. Tempted to give you a femur too, but no. No spine with skull attachment, sadly. How much was the flamer? Wait, somebody was offering us a flamer? Pistol, shotgun, sniper rifle. Is this guy offering us a flamethrower? No, no, we could rob or cool him, but uh, robbing the bomb guy, probably not a good idea. It still says starting shortly, Jake. Well, 
glad we can get rid of you. There we go. So we either take one of these raw deals or and or we tell someone to cool it or we rob someone. What'll it be, Chief? What's our mechanics at? Unknown for both of them, but probably both terrible. And if you want my sound advice, not a good investment. But, don't take my advice, take your own. And if you take another 10 seconds, I'm throwing a grenade at all those pipe bombs. I'd say just cool it. Alright, bomb guy can cool it. Cool it! You cool it! The mood gets pretty tense with the guy selling explosives. You're forced to leave the camp. Let's go run over some zombies with a car. That would be great. We'd save on ammo. Morale increase for both. God. <laughs> Whoa, it's Zwerbaum! It's nice to see a familiar face. He's yelling at some survivors because they made fun of his hair. He's practical. He's into healthcare. We want both these things, but do we want Zwerbaum? Alpha Gamma says we need the healthcare. Well, welcome aboard, Zwer. Onwards to Canada. Just in time for... Glad we're not having to deal with fast zombies, though. They'll get fast. Here we go. It's siege time. It always is after, uh, after that. There's a horde creeping nearby. We'll have to hold our ground for a wee bit before we can escape in this small house. That is dangerous, because recall well, we don't have the best of anything right now. Still, Brute Queen is kind of good with guns, so I'm taking both of those. Alpha, I want you to hold on to that grenade for just in cases. And we do not have a lot of uh, anything here, do we? Oh well, let's do this. There's one thing we do have though, and that is raw freaking strength. Oh, well, that and some broken stuff. Did not really intend to break the uh, the table there, but break it did. Actually, as uh, as invasions go, this one ain't so bad. As long as we stay on top of it, I got ways of staying on top of things. Wow, that was a point blank shotgun shell, and it didn't kill the guy. Uh oh, right. Keep it real. Okay, we're good. We're damn good. Let us out. Whew, let's go. We should feel pretty good about that. Throwing furniture at zombies has been pretty effective, says Alpha, and they're correct. Just worked for us. We feel pretty inspired after managing to survive that situation. Uh, what'll our reward be? Morale and random skill. Morale and one health healed, which is useless to us right now. Mechanical or plus two fitness for Zwerbaum. We don't know how fit he is. In fact, we know nothing about him other than he's practical and he's good at healthcare. But what will we do? Alpha wants morale and random. Morale is pretty low, I'll give you that. Morale and random says brute queen as well. And is there any sign of the Zwerbaum? Well, morale and random it is. Everybody's morale goes up. Strength for Alpha, fitness for Brute Queen. That's excellent. And Zwer gets even strong. Wow, it's a swole team. I like what I see. Also, Brute Queen's morale can go above uh, straight face, so that's okay. We're exhausted from a long drive, and we immediately sleep. We eat a decent meal, and all is well. Brute Queen just moaning because they're never happy. A man in makeshift armor made from athletic gear is standing guard in the middle of a wooden bridge. Uh, do we push him off, plow through him, fight him one-on-one, -on -one, or do we tell him to cool it? What's it going to be? Now remember, Brute Queen only has two health, but Brute Queen is supremely swole. Super flashing strength at that. Well, actually, Brute Queen is the ultimate zombie killing machine. Brute Queen wishes to fight. Well, make it so. Brute Queen charges at the sports gear armored man, tackles him, and tosses him over the bridge. Splash! Morale increase. I think this is your new maximum morale. 
Zombies are no problem. Well, maybe a small problem. Thanks for the insight, Swerbaum. While driving along the death road, we decide to make a stop for supplies. Do we go to the swarmed rest stop, the burning house, or do we ri drive around a bit more? We're actually pretty good on fuel right now, 67, all things considered. What'll it be? Burning house, says the brute. Alpha's also saying burning house. Green Giant, you can be uh, you can be our Zwerbaum, but we're still going into this burning house. The group is surprised a house down the road mysteriously catches on fire. Curiosity overwhelms their basic survival instincts. Maybe hot. They're thick and irritated zombies and it's almost sunset. We're going to keep that shotgun. Could come in handy. Uh, not going to keep the grenade. That seems like a death sentence for ourselves. But Brute, I need you to hold on to that flashlight because it is, as we said, almost sunset. Just... The AI seems really good at dodging fire, sometimes. It's odd that the zombies keep pouring through the, uh, through the ceiling, though. Oh, you know what? I'm taking this piece of wood because I am that desperate for weapons right now. Ooh, uh, that was almost close. Grab our meds, grab our meds, grab our new uh, piece of furniture. Chunk. Let's try to do this somewhat logically. Moving from uh, room to room in a... something of a fashion at least. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Oh, too hot, right. Let's switch that out a bit. And start ripping and tearing. Much as I love these mollies, let's put them back a bit. Some kind of welding torch, which is a weird weapon. I think it's an extremely short-ranged flamethrower. Wonder how much AI work it took for the uh, characters not to run straight into the fires. Probably a ton. Hey, who's this chump? Roddy says he really wants to get out of this place. He asks to follow you around. Oh, why the hell not? He could be a useful distraction. At the very least, though, he's a walking wrench. I wonder why this place is on fire, though. Can we ever unearth this mystery? Alpha, Alpha, please stay away from the fire. Doesn't flashing strength let you tear sinks and ovens from the ground? Sinks, yes. Ovens, not yes. Alright, that seems to be our lot here. We found somebody. And... Some weapons, I suppose. Well, let's go. Nice food, nice fuel. Overall, nice. Roddy catches up with the group as a safe spot and he offers a reward. We could recruit him, get group mechanical training or group shooting training. All are good, to be honest. Uh, shooting training will bring Brute Queen up to maximum shooting, allowing her to ace any shooting events we get. Getting some mechanical will allow us to learn how good Zwerbaum is and obviously have that increased. What'll it be? Alpha Gamo says group shooting. Green Giant also says shooting. Means it doesn't matter what the brute sweat, uh, brute says, but I'm sure the brute doesn't mind being top notch at shooting. Also, we don't learn people shooting. Oh, damn. Training ends. Away we go. But we should be able to ace any event that involves guns. Whoa! It's T Walrus. It's good to see a familiar face. He hasn't seen the group yet. He's been real busy picking his nose. He's oblivious, but he's a friend of dogs. So if we meet a dog in a trading area, we don't have to kill ourselves stealing from him. We take the walrus, says Alpha, and Green Giant says, take him on board. Well, uh, is walrus around in chat? Because they're on the team. Great attitude, terrible wits. <laughs> Wondering what's going on with all those zombies. 
Uh, the group goes against their judgement and camps in a city apartment because there are no zombies around. When they wake up, the building is on fire. Do we plan out an escape or run away now? Uh, Alpha Gemo... Actually, we don't know who'd be good at uh, planning a way out of here. Walrus... I forget what checks it has anyway. I think this war should plan out our escape, says Alpha. Green Giant's also backing them up, saying plan it out. Okay, who's going to plan this escape? I'm hearing that Zwer might be best for it. Has anybody uh, got an alternative there? Okay, support for Zwer. Lead us out of this hellhole. He tries to keep calm and observant, but he panics. And he wastes precious time. But he plans a fast way out, and we leave unhurt. So whilst morale may go down one point across the board, we do learn about his composure uh, and his wits, and we lose nothing. You have a huge uh, risk of losing all your stuff if you just run away. Also, you can run into the fire. All right, Krukers, you'll be our wallers for today, but we encounter a library. Seems to have mostly burnt down, but Brute Queen finds a single book. What was the book? Was it a giant repair manual, a rhyming children's book, a self-help book, or was it book rage? Now, I'm just saying it would be good to learn about something mechanical related, since our vehicle is being held together by gum, but what'll it be? Brute Queen wants a repair manual, as does Kruker's. Alpha does as well. Let's check it out. Mechanical skill increases across the board, but not for Zwer. Why not? Very interesting. Might be useful to learn how good he is, ours were, by having him fix the broken car. Or Walrus, in his oblivious attempt at befriending dogs, could punch the car. What'll it be? Alright, there's uh, somewhat belief that we can get this hunk of junk running again. Let's fix that car. Unfortunately, Zwer is really rubbish at mechanical for a so-called uh, practical individual. We waste a whole day, which means one meal, trying to repair it, but at least we learned that he's terrible at mechanics. So on the road we go. The group is robbed by weak bandits. The bandits are the kind that would normally not be a problem. They nervously demand the remainder of our food, half our ammo, and medical supplies. Do we give in, fight them, terrify them, or T. Walrus goes, what did you say? We actually have some good options here. Brute Queen is terrifying, says Alpha. Green Giant also saying, terrify them. Krukers wants to wonder what they say, but the overwhelming majority wishes for the terrifying. The bandits are utterly terrified by Brute Queen. They trip over themselves and rush to escape. The group is relieved to avoid a fight while exhausted. Brute Queen feels pretty good about her swollness. <laughs> Crumple like a Swede. After a long hike, uh, we set up camp and the weather is nice apparently. Sweet, we eat a good meal. Only have one good meal left in us though. Uh, sadly, the weather turns bad, but because we have an umbrella, we don't get the double morale hit, which is good, because Zwer is about to pop a gasket otherwise. The group is hiking down a gravel road when they see a group of wrecked cars ahead. Chances are there's gasoline and one may still work. It's the afternoon, let's go and investigate those cars. Taking the shotgun for just in cases. I uh, don't know why you have the purse, but your weapons all suck, so we'll go with that. Keeping the molly here. I don't even know how to use a blowtorch, so keep that. You can have a wrench, though, because, uh, I mean, our options for weapons are truly terrible. Why is Purse even in the game? What, what are you meant to do with it? Well, it matters not. Let's kill and keep moving. Dum, dum, dum. There we go. Oh, I see you. I see you and I want you. I see a tire iron as well. Those tend to be alright. Let's just maul these zombies. Come on, we're a pretty small team. Got it. Tire iron probably beats wrench, because uh, wrench is really heavy. Which means it's exhausting. No point having a super good weapon if you're too exhausted to swing it. And as we've learned, we don't have uh, faith in Zwer's swolness. Man, this must be so much easier in multiplayer. I've played this game in multiplayer, it's really fun, but... Uh, 
only does uh, local co-op. Ah, this is a car, all right. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I don't like this. We're getting swarmed right there. There's no guarantee everyone will get in. Oh, jeez. Mistakes have been made, folks. The mistakes have been made. Get in now! Whew. Nice. Got a whole bunch of fuel for it. It started to rain over the city and zombies have become more aggressive. For reasons that have not yet been explained. Do we hit up the furniture store or the coffee shop? Both are pretty arse, but I don't think that'll be where we focus on. Uh, the coffee shop cures tiredness, but no one is tired. Furniture store is Ikea, I guess. Coffee shop, we need food, says Green Giant. Crookers wants the furniture. Alpha wants the coffee. Uh, KMR Blue says, look up Parsec, it can run local co-op games online. Interesting. But uh, two for coffee, two for furniture, which means we have split decision. Which means Captain overrules. Alpha Gamma wants the coffee. Let's get going. Uh, let's just ditch these crappy weapons. Tire iron is not a good weapon, but it's relatively fast to swing. Wrench is pretty strong, but only good for the swole. Rebar ain't... Well, probably ain't that bad. Let's go then. Oh, Zwer, welcome! If you have the time, you can be you. I quite like this team. Now we have unbreakable weapons, even if they're a bit crappy. And they're led by the... The greatest zombie slayer known to mankind. Also getting good luck with these zombo points. Oh, not if I cover them up like that. Okay, so we're just passing by. Well, you're contributing to the team pretty well. You completely failed to fix the car, wasted a load of time and food. But we just like having you around. Whoa. Calm yourself there, Brute Queen. Stop living up to your name. She's just so angry. You don't even have to kill everyone there. I'd be angry too with hair like that, would really? I don't know what it's called, twin tails or pigtails or whatever, but they're pretty cute. Maybe it's the being a redhead. Although it kind of looks like you're in prison garb, right? You got the black and white stripes rocking. This team's actually pretty alright for, uh, for smashing things down, but this is where we are. Onwards to Apocalypse Coffee. clean things out a bit, but that's what the furniture's for. And there's the thing, even if you're not that strong, if you've all got a bunch of uh, swift, unbreakable weapons, you can still mow down a horde, as long as they're not getting constantly reinforced. Okay, let's get some coffee. We're all coffeeed up, which actually speeds you up and uh, removes your any tiredness. Although if you drink too much, you become sick, which is a weird thing. However, any second attempt... Well, should we give somebody a second dose of coffee? I'll let you decide that whilst we go and... Uh, well, speed our way through and just mince all the zombies in sight. How does our... Uh, can we see fitness? There we go, we've got flashing green fitness. And look at the speed! Can you break the coffee machine? I think if somebody has half-decent mechanics, they can uh, do some stuff to it. Let's see what happens if we get brute that coffee. 
But Brute just said they'll ca pass on the second cup, so I guess Green Giant is taking the second one. You are as were, right? I'm losing track. I think Kruker's is the other one. Well, drink your coffee. It's hard to say if it was a massive amount of caffeine, the filthy cups, or how the coffee's been rotting for an unknown amount of time, but Zwer feels pretty sick. Ugh, feel pukey. So what's our stats for you? Oh, you're actually sick. Interesting. Well, well played. Good luck keeping up. Okay, I really hope there's more to this hall than that. Last chance for this house, you gotta be something amazing. Or the house next to it, looks like that's an option. I'm liking this speed, I'm not gonna like not having this speed. Is this what it's like drinking coffee? I mean, I don't touch the stuff, it's vile, but if it maybe run twice as fast, I might be interested. Whoa, whoa now. Let's not have any of that. These fists are flying, though. Okay, last, last chance. This hole's got to be amazing, or else I wasted a whole heap of time here. I'm not sold on Hammer. Sinks are amazing weapons, they just don't break when you throw them. Most things do. Even this flimsy IKEA bed breaks pretty- Oh, I don't like it there. Oh, also I would have missed this, but I didn't have to retreat. Another sink! Suck it, zombie scum! I thought software devs are just machines that turn coffee into code. Almost are, but I don't code and I don't drink coffee. Even Walrus is going nuts with his pokey stick. Sadly, I cannot yet pick up the, uh, the refrigerators. I don't know if that's even possible in the game. Alright, that's our lot. Uh, honestly, it was pretty good. Look at that. 14 food with a couple of biofuel. Ooh, no, don't like that at all. Let's keep the car clear and let's get moving. Alright, sweet. Loads of food. Morale isn't great, but I'll take it, as long as we have a car over our heads. Uh, the group sets up camp outside a grocery store, and they've noticed that another group has been attempting to l follow us and loot the place themselves. Who will go in and loot? Will it be Zwer, Brute Queen, or one of the others? Preferably not Brute, they lose on every mental roll there is. Alpha is loyal. Zwerabam has so-so wits but poor composure. Uh, we don't know about Walrus, though. Don't know at all. Uh, Brute wants to send Zwer, Alpha wants to send Walrus. Who else is going to pipe up about that? The two swole to control perk lets a character pick up and throw cars, but their fitness is awful, says Brute Queen. Oh, don't I know it. I've managed to find the TS, the last bodybuilder before. Uh, send Alpha. Send Walrus. Ooh. Well, we're getting two for Walrus, one for Zwer and one for Alpha, so it looks like Walrus is going in. Make us proud, Wally. The other members stand guard. Walrus searches for food. He brings back some food. Great. We eat almost all of it, but at least morale goes up. As the group explores a campsite, they are ambushed by bandits brandishing makeshift weapons. 
They demand all of your weapons. This is ludicrous, not even bandits. Fight them, give up all of our weapons, or tell them to cool it. Telling them to cool it will probably kill Brute Queen. She only has two health. But they only have makeshift weapons, so they'd probably only do one damage if we just fight them. Nonetheless, Green Giant wishes to cool it. Brute Queen wishes to fight. Alpha says we also fight. Well, at the very least, that's two on the fighting, but it's also two for the cooling. Oh, however we go with the captain's orders in a split decision, we fight them. Everybody gets hurt. But at least we keep our weapons, and we have tons of health care. And uh, Zwerbaum, who's actually not terrible at uh, medical, heals us up for only a cost of two each. Mm, however, Brute Queen and Alpha are still injured. While driving along the death road, we decide to make a stop for supplies. Do we go to the ominous laboratory or the riled up house? Alternatively, we drive around for uh, 25 gas. Alpha wishes to drive more. Green Giant and Krukers both wishes to check out the ominous labs. What does the Queen want to do? She gets to cast the deciding vote here. Unless she wants the riled up house. Maybe we can genetically enhance Brute, says Legendary Marvin. Ooh. Brute gets excited and says, right, we're going ominous. The group drives past an office complex. The sign says Omnibiocore Labs, which sounds way too evil to be a real company. There are a thick load of zombies and it's almost sunset, but they are, at least for now, calm. Let's grab our flashlight. This is dangerous, very dangerous. Especially with this many zombies. Jesus crikey. Get out, Wally! Blooming heck. That was a lot of zombies. Right, we owe it. We owe it to Alpha to clean up this mess. Thankfully, Alpha was pretty useless and already injured. There we go. Well, we can bring your body with us at least. Oh, hmm. I can't injure zombies with it. Oh, but you're now turned into a skelly! And the skelly is now gone. I was the one who could say could have saved a death as well, but I die first again. <laughs> Looks like Brute's taking this one over. Get in line, fellas. What a ridiculous number of zombies to be greeted with there, though. Extremely dangerous, and there's more of them right here. I've already used up most of the ammo. Should, uh, Another bad thing. And <laughs> I still only have one health left as as a little brute. Jeez. I'm so glad Brute has good fitness. only thanks to the shotgun that we got out of that prickly situation, though. Right, screw it. We gotta keep moving. What is with this place? The zombies are calm, but only at the start. They're, they're gonna get more riled up as we go along here. Oh, oh, that was close. That was way too close. There's just no respite here. This is so risky. If you haven't noticed, it can be really hard to see what's what around here. It's only going to get worse as the lights go further down. So 
many doors and stuff as well. I'm getting lost. Sweet Jesus, is what we made it here for? It's some sort of mad science thing. There's no telling what it could do if messed with. Do we leave it alone or do we enter the machine? And if we enter, who enters? That's the question. Alright. Decisions have to be made here because we're getting swarmed. Whew. We made it this far. I'll do it, says Green Giant. I believe that's the Zwer. So, uh, in you get, Zwerbomb. Zwerbomb enters the machine. Zwerbomb gets blasted by mysterious science rays until the machine ceases to work. He feels energized. Strength, fitness, and dexterity all increases for the giant pole. We don't know how much by. But good job to you. Now we just gotta get the heck out of here. Without killing everyone. Oh jeez, you can see those and so can I. I'm starting to wish I brought more gun with me now. Well, that's a bad sign. I hope that was a seriously big fitness increase and strength increase for you as well, because we're about to need it. We are cornered and in a super bad situation. Right, let's risk it. Risk all or save none. I hope you're still really good at... Uh... Oh, oh, nice! There's a combination lock. It probably has lots of cool stuff in it. Uh-oh. This is super, 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 super risky. There's got to be a combi lock around here. This place will be the death of us, Jake. Get out. When it's the looting, I'm in charge, Green Giant. We're gonna have all those goodies. Uh-oh. Anyone else hear the music getting quieter? Maybe it is just me. But I don't trust me. Mint some guys. Damn, I thought the note might be in here. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Well, I got a solution here. Oh, what's this? A lock safe? Or a safe lock? What was it doing in the sink? How was it even this? Well, you know what? Let's not question it. Let's just try desperately to remember the way back. I concede, I don't remember the way back. Doesn't feel like it's this way, though. Who has good memory? I can't wait to see the zombie kill count here. Whoa! No, 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 no. Take a step back, unless you want to get smacked. Man, I hope Alpha Gamma is inside that safe. Okay, we unlock and open the safe, along with some useless papers. What was inside? 45 shells, 75 bullets, a shotgun, or a hunting rifle? We already have a hunting rifle. We already have a shotgun. We don't have a handgun. In fact, 45 shells seems the only thing worth having here. It is pretty underwhelming. 
Green Giant wants the shotgun, Brute Queen wants the shells. Don't forget the grenade, Jake. What grenade? I don't think I took that with us. There's a grenade on the ground in that room. Well spotted. Because I sure didn't see that. Oh, I'm using the pedals again. Uh, well, Krukers also wants the 45 shells. They're ours now. At the very least, it could get us out of here. work and hold on to the uh, grenade for us. Wow. What a place. What a hell of a place. But, oh, we're not done yet. Um, nah, we can say we're done. I ain't dying there. Oh, roof. I don't like the look of that place there. Also, coming in from the south. Don't like the don't like the fighting retreat here. What are you doing, Wally? Right, we're gonna have to thin the horde, or else I don't fancy my chances. All it takes is for us to feel uh, to see too many zombies coming through the front door, and we won't get out. We've been in here for hours. If we didn't have these fists of justice, we'd have nothing. Come on, brute! Continue carrying your team. We did check out everywhere here, right? Yes, yes, and probably. God. Damn, would they stop pouring in? Can they stop pouring in? Oh, I do not fancy that at all. How do we stop this? Right, there's one obvious solution here. It's almost beautiful how obvious it is. Let's go! Go, go, go! <sighs> Please heal me up, Zor. There we go. We made it. I can't believe we made it as well. Whoa! It's Digren! It's nice to see a familiar face. He's eating a candy bar. Those things still haven't gone bad. He's got a mysterious past, but he's a gungeoneer. Could be good at mechanical because we've been pretty bad at that so far. I mean, look, our best mechanic is Zwerbaum, and he's just pants. What'll it be? Kruker wants to say, recruit. Green Giant backs it up. Come on, Digren, onwards to the team. Any sign of Digren, though? It's nearly time to camp, but there have been a lot of sign of bandits today. Someone needs to be awake in case of an attack. Who will stay up and watch? Now, we need somebody with good loyalty for this. That is certainly not Brute Queen. It used to be uh, Alpha, but he's so loyal he died. T Walrus is oblivious, which is probably not good. So Zwer or maybe Digren. Who will it be? Or we could keep driving, but then keep driving, but then everyone will get uh, tired. Green Giant says, "I will take the task." Pointing towards Zwer then. Let's do this. Zwer stands on guard for the night. He manages to stay awake. His loyalty is revealed to be amazing. He takes a morale hit, but the good meal that we have perks him up a bit. He feels tired, though. It's a shame, because he's super strong now. Digran insists that we get chainsaws. No sign of them. The car is running fine, but an error code shows up on the dashboard. We pull over, see what's up. Digran could inspect it. He might... Might be good at mechanical. Mysterious Past can give him a plus there, and Gungeoneer does mean a bit of mechanical. Uh, Brute Queen could, however, punch it, which would probably make the car explode. Or Brute Queen could kick it a lot, which might also make the car explode. Or we could just ignore it, that's another option. Brute Queen wants inspection, Green Giant insists that Digren gives it a go. Well, Digren, look at it and look at it closely. Also, who's going to be our Digren? Digren checks the car, finds the problem, 
fixes it up, and his mechanical is revealed to be bad, but not terrible. Good job, Dai. The group is driving down a long stretch of road, but we find a trader camp. Let's check it out. Ooh, busy place. Every day on the death road is a day to make friends. Easy Medical College. Who wants to learn about surgery? We could get some training on medical matters. Uh, specifically for Zwerbaum, if we want to be really good at medical. Might be worth a small investment on Zwer, especially since he's... Whoa, it's Kevdev! He's been waiting for us to show up. He's a car nut. And he's a big anime fan. We could ditch one of our useless losers here if we want to. Or we could not. Leave him there for now. Oh, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Now, Zwerbaum and uh, Brute Queen are definitely credit to the team right now. Question is, do you want to trade out anybody else? I only carry the best stuff. Molotovs and chainsaws from the young woman. Chainsaws always good, but we don't have a ton of food. I mean, what I'm saying is if we spent 20, we'd only have four left. Spare gas. We could rob somebody for gas. Well, actually, no, we'd be robbing of his, of his food, probably. And then there's somebody selling shotguns, who we could also tell to cool it. So, a few different things we can do. We could also uh, recruit Kevdev, and we can either tell somebody to cool it, or rob the gas guy. It's all up to you guys. Voting for no Kev. We gotta... Okay, so people don't want any uh, Kev Dev. But Kruker is saying we're buying training and robbing some food. Very well. Let's get some training for uh, for the Zwer. Zwerbam learns new things about emergency medical care from the knowledgeable filth man. Medical goes up. They won't do it again for us, sadly. And rob the food. Alright. Alright. Brute Queen knocks the man over, grabs a sack of food, then runs. The other members are dragged in. Your loyalty is revealed to be very low... Well, the lower your morale, the more... Uh, sorry, the lower your loyalty, the less a morale hit you get. Zwerbam is super unhappy about this, though. We're forced to flee. Zwerbam is ready to freaking pop here. Zwerbam's body is affected. Strength and fitness decrease, but we don't know how strong he ever was, and he's already tired, so that's not good. We're being driven, or we are driving through, a ruined city. We end up surrounded on all sides. There's no escape from this undead flood double exclamation in the, in the late morning. On a ruined mall. Oh, no. Oh no, this is awful. Okay. Shotguns out, guns out, shouldn't need lights. Molly out. Uh, Digren, you're carrying the molly and the grenade. This is it, I guess. Oh, <laughs> Mike says, well, it's been a good run. Risk all or save none. No real way to snake around here. Get out of my ways, work. All right, this is the best we can hope for. Kill everything. Try not to get too surrounded either. Hey, mall cops! They could save us. Oh, one of them's already dead. Don't want to get too stuck here, but we've got to kill everything we can. Also enjoy the backup of mall man. And grab the, the food while there is. Okay, guys, we got to go, 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 go here. Out of ammo already? Christ. Uh... There we go! Burn, baby, burn! Guys, get out, get out, get out, get out! Get out, Digran! Uh, 
Malls are the worst. They are the absolute worst. If you talk to mall cops, they'll follow and fight with you during the siege. Well, that's nice to know. I had no idea. Up we go. We don't have much choice anymore. Oh, wow. It's over already? Sweet. Oh. At least I can grab a spine. Well, That could be the first time I've fought in a mall and not at everyone... D well, we're not out yet, actually. Let's hold off on the celebration. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on now. Still are a lot of them. I fancy our chances. No, not anymore. Don't fancy them. Don't fancy them anymore. How's health? Digren's almost dead. I'm not saying he's credit to team or anything, but uh, he's got the best mechanical. And he can barely tie a nut on a screw. Go, 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 go. But was there anything good up there? Probably not. Ah, but he might have had a gun! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I've made some poor choices in my time, and this is one of them. <laughs> right, let's go. Alright, everyone's getting healed up by Zwer. I hope he doesn't run away, you know, with all of our stuff. Uh, Zwerbum gets into a big argument with Digren. Do we keep driving? Take a break? Does Zwerbum drive faster or does Digren not hear? Uh, Digren has a mysterious past, so maybe he doesn't hear Zwerbum, but that might cheese off Zwerbum even more. Although if we take a break for a day, probably everyone becomes happier at the expense of food, and we could probably do with a break. What's it going to do? What's it going to be, rather? Green Giant wishes to take a break. Everyone wishes to take a break for a day. The group stops the car, sets up camp near the road so that Zorba and Digran can get some space. It works, but it wastes a day. Thankfully, it saves us from saves us from anybody just abandoning ship. Now we feel pretty inspired after that. We managed to survive one hell of a situation. Do we get morale up and a random skill gain? Some strength, some shooting, or plus two shooting for Walrus, who... I've got to say, look at that gormless freaking guy. I almost feel sorry for him, but jeez. What'll it be? Green Giant wishes for the morale and random skill gain. Thing is, morale comes and goes, and Brute Queen is on her maximum morale. But we don't want to lose the Zwer, he's our group medic. Nobody else is weighing up, so it seems that Green Giant is making it happen. Morale and random skill gain it is. Every day is a great teacher, morale increase, at least for most of us. Mechanical up for Digren, which is great. We need that. Shooting for Zwer. Eh, Walrus got uh, the shooting that he wanted. And a couple of Zombo points earned. Nothing for Brute, so I assume that Brute uh, got strength or fitness there, which were already, or strength or shooting, which were already maxed up. The group sets up camp late. On the nearby highway, there's a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but they should have a bit of gas. Who's going to siphon the gas? Whoever does this is going to be tired and unhappy. So we should probably send somebody really disposable to do it. But I wouldn't know who. Who's it gonna be? If we wait until morning, usually zombies come in and uh, chase us away, but maybe they don't. Krukers has the right idea. By which I mean he actually tells me who he is, because if your name doesn't match up with the person in the game, it's very hard for me to remember who's who. Still, Kruker says Walrus is going in, so make it happen, Wally. Uh, he does siphon the gas, gets a 2 morale hit, but gets us 43 gas. This is gas, gas, gas the run. T. Walrus looking forward to some nice cold Canadian weather, as he has lungs full of gas right now. The group drives into a new city, and noise from the car has already drawn attention from the undead. They're thick, they're irritated, but it is morning. Do we go to the pet shop or the gun shop? We do have a friend of dog with us, but that just means we'd probably be able to recruit the dogs. Which doesn't make a lot of sense for us. This shouldn't even be a question, says Traffic. Everybody wants those guns. Well then. I like that spine. I'd rather you kept it. I actually like having the, the rebar aplenty for the team. 
Just a team it. Uh, anybody know if crowbar is better than tire iron, though? I said rebar, I meant tire iron. But I like the spine. Brute Queen, you take the spine until it breaks. It's better than purse, we're told. Oh, yeah, you don't say. Uh, wrench might be good for you. That's the thing, I don't know how powerful weapons are, but I do like Brute Queen's Fists of Fury. How good's this car? No idea. Just hope it doesn't pop. Let's go hit up that gun store, first and foremost. Everything else is secondary to gun stop. Effing gun stop. Wow, Digran has some kind of death wish. She keeps uh, lagging behind. That and Wally is still tired, so he's he's out in a sweat. Where the hell are the guns? God damn, I hate gun stop. They give me really bad uh, trade-ins on my guns. A single pistol. It's a piss takel is what it is. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, yeah, we can get through here. Guys, guy, go, oh, Christ, guys, no. I don't think the AI was able to pass through that. Digrant's got such a death wish. Guess it's in the name. Right, we'll just take it from the top then. Hopefully we see a bit of, yeah, they, there were some hunting zombies as I recall, right? Thick and hunting. At least if we're indoors, we can find furniture to ravage zombies with. Like this. Yoink. So yeah, I would love some numbers on crowbar versus tire iron. Uh, crowbar versus, uh... Yeah, it's a tire iron, right? Eat Ikea! The tire iron is pretty weak. Power rating of 0.8. Crowbar has power rating of 1.5. Thank you for that. Now, special question, is rebar better? It's not just... Uh, it's not just power, though. Stamina is important for our uh, less swole comrades. See, Zwerbam got a strength and fitness upgrade. We went through that massive, twisted old... Uh, laboratory place for it, but he instantly lost it because he lost his cool because we robbed the guy. Was it worth it for the food? I would say so. It's always worth it for food. Food is the game currency, of course. If we go by pure DPS, crowbar is absolutely better than the tire iron, but speed can be good, even if it doesn't mean higher DPS. True that. Everyone's still at max health. This is good. Man, I, I really like this game. Anybody else just really like Death Road to Canada? So simple, so fun, so silly. It's not even trying to take itself seriously. Rebar is the worst of the bunch. Much less power than the tire iron and only slightly faster. Well, thanks for that. So it must be one of the worst destru uh, indestructible weapons around. Oh, ouchie spray, yoink. How many sprays? Just one. Oh, that's okay. That's great for if we have a siege or something and somebody's already injured. Or hell, even if they're not, just a way of keeping us alive. So how strong are the, uh, the fists? Not regular ones, but big bruiser fists. Boxing, I believe it's called. Not to be confused with another character that actually has boxing gloves.
Thank you, please. Yeah. Bloomin' uh, gun stop. Can just get out of here. Found a real gun stop. In the everyday American home. Kinda want my spine back, though. Brute queen. The manliest around. You can't call her spineless. I can't look at uh, TikTok clocks like this without thinking of Maniac Mansion. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, Brute Queen is the gun stop. Uh, how are we doing? This has been a good haul, right? Mm, meds, sure. Ammo, sure. But it's not been from gun stop. Oh, wow, that is one horrible way to fall into a death trap if you get caught out there. Right, get away from gun stop and don't make eye contact. Is there anywhere else to go to, though? Why am I still carrying this purse? Alright, if rebar is so terrible, we'll just chuck it. How about the wrench? Anyone got numbers on the, uh, the wrench? It's really exhausting to swing, but I think it's fairly powerful. Alright, onwards and upwards! 162 kablamoed. The bigger the weapon, the more things I can hit in one swing, says Walrus. Insightful. The group meets another person just chilling on a park bench. He seems friendly. They have a conversation about what it was like before the world ended. What was the main topic? Advice exchange? Pep talk? Giving me your stuff! <laughs> or cooling it. Jesus, brute. Is there no level you won't stoop to? If you steal stuff again, Zwerbaum is going to be wanting to uh, sod off again, but might be worth it for nicking their stuff. <laughs> Green Giant wants their stuff. Brute Queen wants the advice. Krukers also wants the advice. Well, that's two for the advice that includes the leader, so we're doing an advice exchange. And uh, Zorbam has maxed out medical. That means he can heal people without even using meds. So, huzzah. Not that we need that, this team's unstoppable. Nice, those 15 meds are going to take us all the way to Canada. The group finds an abandoned campground with a fire pit. And there's even an extra large park of marshmallows. Do we eat the marshmallows, which will save us one meal? and give us an extra bit of food, or do we tell stories that will raise morale for everybody? Both are good. We would like to do both, to be honest. A traffic Cone, who I think is also known as Digren, wants to hear a story. Green Giant wants some marshmallows. Wrench is worse than crowbar in every way, but does hit harder than a tire iron, says Krukers. Hmm... Mallows, stories, stories make you tired. I No, spooky stories make you tired. Nonetheless, everybody wants some marshmallows, so we chow them down, have a couple left over, and all is well-ish. Down to double digits on the gas, sadly. The group gets a rare, peaceful moment to relax. There's time to talk. Someone reveals a lot about themselves. Who do we learn a lot about? We're wasted on Brute Queen. We know everything except our mechanical. We know very little about Digren, very little about Walrus. And we know about half of what we need to know about Zwerbam. The question is, who do we want to know the most about? I'm kind of seeing Digren and Walrus as our expendables, whereas Zwerbam is part of the dream team with that loyalty and that medical. But it is up to you guys. Dig Everybody wants to know about Digren. Tell us a story. His true essence is revealed. He's actually a good shot with great attitude. Hmm. You're actually a pretty terrible character, except the fact that you barely have the best mechanical in the group. 
We want to foster that mechanical. Maybe you should shut up, Zwer. <laughs> Poor Zwer, he's gonna want to blow a gasket again. A fast and fancy car pulls up to you dramatically. The driver shouts from his window, On the death road, the only way to survive is to be fast and also furious. He challenges you to a drag race. Do we ignore him, ram into his car, accept the challenge, or does Walrus want to know more about the rules? Remember, Walrus is oblivious, so this could have uh, potentially hilarious results. Green Giant says they can't turn down the challenge, but the rest of the team want to know the rules. T Walrus isn't clear on the rules of the drag racing. The only rule of drag racing is that there are no rules. The driver then goes on to ramble about a long list of drag racing rules. <laughs> During this time, Brute Queen goes ahead and siphons all the gas. <laughs> Class act. Alright, I take it back, T Walrus. You are no longer expendable to the group. <laughs> This car's gonna go forever. It's just smooth sailing from now on. There are only seven driving days till Canada. Let's go. Whoa! It's warm! It's nice to see a familiar face. He was found trying to pull open a door that said push on it. He's nurturing, he's also a mechanic. Do we recruit him to the team or do we leave him to his door related kerfuffles? Boxing is one power and half knockback. Zero cooldown. Well, it's definitely no. Green Giant says there's no room for you, Borm. Ooh. And we're also being told that Borm is not about. A very rare case. Uh, Krukers also wishes to leave poor Borm behind. Yep, yeah, nobody's taking him in. Uh, Traffic Cone wants to exchange for Walrus now that Walrus has served his purpose. And truthfully, Walrus has very little going for him, but Oblivity can be a terrific trait. Nonetheless, by, uh, by decision, he's being left behind. His medical sucked anyway for someone that was nurturing. While driving along the death road, we decide to make a stop for supplies. Do we go to the police HQ, a small suburb, or do we drive around a bit more? Now we have oodles of gas, courtesy of the drag racer. Police headquarters now that we have gun, says Traffic Cone. Krukers also says loot the police. Brute saying the HQ, obviously. Oh man, remember the last time we entered a packed place? There are thick hunting zombies. It's almost noontime. This is going to be horrible for us, probably. I'm taking this, though. We might need it to get through the worst of it. Goodbye, Spine. I like you, but you got to go now. Uh, healing spray, I'm probably going to keep on you, Zorbaum. Might save us. Okay. It's tempting to bring a gun as well. But I don't have a lot of shells for anything. This will have to do. Okay. Come on. Let's hustle. Man, we should have done this in the last place when we had Alpha Gamma. But if we'd done that, we wouldn't have had this awesome dream team. What I mean is getting out of the room ASAP, because it's just so incredibly swarmed. At least when you do that, you can close the door behind you, get some breathing space. Oh, wow. That was one fragile water cooler. Those things are breaking in my hands even here. That's not good. I think uh, the police have had one too many budget cuts here. Everything's made of trash. Okay, pretty good. Pretty damn good, team. We... We did great work there and nobody got hurt. I didn't even have to whap out this. And I think I'll be taking that with me from now on for our just in cases. I mean, this is close to being a just-in-case, thankfully. We had this back route, now we can just filter them down, take care of them, after we have a bit of a breather.
Man, is everyone tired or something? We're getting... I guess that big bruiser fitness doesn't last forever. Now, I think these guys are stuck in those cells forever. I've never seen a way to get them out. Whoa. Chill out there, Brute Queen. You're still flashing red. It's a lot more enjoyable to play with a character that can pick up and throw things. Especially if that thing is everything's. It just adds a whole new dynamic to the uh, to the fighting. Must be a way to get through those, right? They break. Maybe you can fish out like loads of fuel from the uh, prisoners' lavies. Or we can get ourselves a nice new pistol. I don't know what this gun is called. I would like its stats compared to regular pistol, though, please. It is... Um, okay. I don't know what it is, because it doesn't tell me. But it's a gun. Give Digren a gun. He's a good shot. Yeah, I don't want to waste any of our ammo right now. Especially not this cool new gun we just found. I can't believe I found the key by pulling out a, a sink in the earlier place. That was such a stroke of good luck. Snubnoose? Really? Doesn't look like it would be all that powerful, but I don't know jack about guns. And those fists of fury flying. Almost making up for Resident Evil, this police station is full of bathrooms. Sadly, there's no uh, no biofuel to be plucked out here. Let's chill off a bit before we go in here. I can see Brute Queen full of rage and exhaustion, but mostly rage. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Christ, guys, get away. That is a bad room for us right now. Make sure we have a good way out, and then pop, pop, let him drop. Seriously though, if we didn't have a team with uh, unbreakable weapons that were relatively easy to swing, what would you even do here? I'd be out of ammo by now. Or I'd be running through and half the team would be dead. Much better. Same penetration chance and slower. 60 versus it. Pistol is one. Snubnoose is two. Hmm. Well, there we go. But hey, I like I like what I see there. We must have them. Okay, I need stats on brass knuckles and uh, uh, truncheon. Pretty please. Although it would be nice if there's just like a tier list for melee weapons, so you can easily compare. Because all the numbers are hard to digest at once. Okay, got the pipes, you're having them. Me though! Yeah! Shiv is probably good, right? Here, have a shiv. Frass knuckles are one power. Really, just one power? Aren't my boxing punches one power? 
Good knockback, though. It's getting pretty late. I'm liking the knockback, though. Alright, we've seen everything we need to see here. Let's get out. Hasn't been a tremendous haul. Low food. We don't really need meds at this point. And I brought 160 of, the, 60 of those um, bullets with me. Still, beats a poke in the eye. Let's skedaddle. Zwer is still very unhappy. I hope T Walrus loses some morale though. Oh my! Oh me oh my. Uh, the group camps out in a pro shop near a golf course and Walrus looks out the window. There's a large group of zombies approaching. We could shoot golf balls at them, prepare for a siege, or drive away with no sleep. Now, shooting golf balls is usually terrible, but Brute Queen's really strong and fit, but it's a group check, I think. Honestly, none of these are terrific options, unless somehow we can do the shooting golf balls, but... Uh, it's up to you guys. Traffic Cone wishes to shoot the golf balls. Green Giant wants to siege. Krukers also wants to siege. And Brute Queen is also saying it's siege time. Oh, that's dangerous. Well, if you insist, we're sieging up. Siege alert. Triple exclamation point. Undead flood after dark for one hour. There is no escape. There's not much time to prepare before the door breaks. Okay. Well, thankfully, I have a uh, an Uzi. It's almost our get out of jail free card. I'm going to take the uh, cowboy rifle with us too. Forget the tire iron if you have the power of. Uh, ooh, yeah, ouchy spray. We'll just leave that behind. Uh, I'm going to want those bombs. You have now bought my bombs. Walrus might like his shiv. He might not. Okay, let's go. Why are they already inside? Oh no, screw that place. Screw that place. Look at how many are pouring in. Doodle doo doo. Uh oh. Oh my god. This is the future you chose! Oh man, I'm really tired. That's the problem. This thing's pretty heavy to swing, I guess. Oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no! Right. Um. I know what I have here. Who was the crack shot? Yeah, you're pretty good at shooting. Here's your new weapon there, Digren. If possible, please shoot. And that gives me a chance to buy these bombs. Get back a bit. And then we break on through to the other side! Why are you guys doing this to me? Whoa. Right. No need to shoot anymore. That was too close. Toilet genie? No, just a couple of fuel. Maybe it adds up. One well-placed bomb and bringing an Uzi made that work. The worst of the zombie siege is over. The group clears out any remainders. And then we set up camp. Morale increase across the board, a decent meal. But it cost a lot of bullets. I have no idea, Blackwind, if the uh, if the toilet genie can appear there. Car is broken down from use and abuse, and it's not starting up. Will Digren attempt to fix this car? Engine's all gone, but Digren's mechanical is not too terrible, and we have enough food in case it takes a whole day. It looks like a pretty easy to fix car, right? Brute Queen wishes to attempt the fix, as does Krukers. Looks like we're going for it. Oh, he wastes a whole day and can't fix it. American cars, right? 
Now everybody gets hurt because we had to jump off of a road. We need Brute Queen healed up stat. She only has one hit point. Uh, but at least we set up camp, we eat a decent meal. And Zwerbam rolls up his sleeves and gets everybody healed up. Great job. Well, not Walrus, but pfft. <laughs> walrus. Without the car, we're a sitting duck for bandits. They want all of our ammo, medical supplies, and gas tanks. They're awkward, and they apologize, and they're likely new at this. Do we fight them, or give in to this? All ammo, all meds, all of our gas. We have 128 of it. Probably wouldn't kill us to fight them. Well, wouldn't kill most of us, at least. Krukers wishes to fight. Green Giant wishes to fight. They're new, but Brute... Uh, if we give in, we're dead. We gotta fight. Oh, Brute Queen is killed! Ah, oh, Walrus is killed! Ow! God damn, the bandits are so freaking horrible. <laughs> Okay, brutal but expected, damn, why would you do that? Well, still, now we get to enjoy a sardine-packed, irritated load of uh, zombies as we hunt down our new car. Yeah, goodbye Shiv, at least we kept the brass knuckles, right? Well, you're our new, potentially strongest individual here, Zwerbaum. You're taking over with uh, the role of killing everything. You get the brass knuckies. Uh, please take this as well so you can heal up. I don't care so much about the other guy. Forget that. Forget that. Maybe? Uh, maybe it would come in handy. I don't see the pipe bomb being useful here. I don't like the wrench. The tire irons have served their purpose. I want to see if you prefer that. Over the no, surely that's not better than crowbar. We still do have the Uzi, at least. Just in case. Oh, wrong person. There we go, it's work. Heal up. Alright, now let's go. Worth noting, if things look really bad, you can wander off the side of the road. You will continue, but you will not get a car. Oh. If you get one nibble there, Digran, you are die dead. No, we can do better than that. You are die now. Alright, gas aplenty, which is kind of good. We have tons of gas. Oh, I feel so bad that Brute Queen is dead. Brute Queen carried this show. Sure is a lot of burnt out cars. Oh, that's a nice halt. Get in the hybrid, get in the hybrid. Get in the freaking... There we go. Nice. Loads of gas. Zorbam isn't dead. And we get to stop for something else. The rest stop, the fancy office, or do we drive around at a very low gas cost? What's it gonna be? Golf club is terrible, says Andre Kroon. Mm -hmm. Giving up all of our everything was an even worse option. It wasn't our weapons, at least. Ammo, yeah, I agree, that's pretty terrible. Uh, Green Giant wants to do the rest stop. But it's between Green Giant and... I'll be honest, I've forgotten who's who again. Two max health is really risky on high difficulties, it would seem, says the Khan of Milan. Exceedingly risky. And there's the thing, we had so many meds, but we couldn't take a single bad event or it would kill uh, our best character. Oh yeah, Traffic Cone ate a uh, timeout for acting up. So I guess Green Giant's making the calls. Rest stop? Really? Well, what are we going to do? The zombies mill around as if guarding something. Digren, let's be honest, you should just rest up. Zwerbam's gonna lead this solo. He doesn't need anything else. As long as he got his brass knuckles and his Uzi, he can take care of anything. Let's make this fast, like really fast. 
Oh, no. Also, no. Damn, I didn't want them following me out of there. At least he's strong enough to pick up freedom. Nothing in here. Jeez. Do you have a problem with doors, Swer? He's got a problem with picking up benches, which automatically makes me miss Brute Queen even more. Right, if there's something in here, we need it, and we need it fun times. I was hoping we could in and out that, but no such luck. Surprisingly fit theirs were. Considering that your stats are practical and healthcare. Alright, let's ring the dinner bell, try to get the zombies out of there. Come out, you undead buggers. I know there are more of you in there. Right. Food. Ammo. Oh, man, this is a nice place, but uh, extremely risky. Worth it for a bullet. Not worth it for a single crummy handgun, though. I kind of want those meds, but I guess they're not really worth it. Anybody else see anything worth it in there? Because I'm not. That was actually a... Ah, good on the food, actually. I'll take it. You have to worry. You don't need meds. That's exactly true. Gonna do a quick check outside. I know there's never anything here, but I want there to be something here. Alright, good enough. We're out. Unless... No, we don't need that pistol. Off we trot! Alright, he heals up everybody. Nicely done, Zwer. Okay, we're driving down a long stretch and we find a trader camp. I hope there are people... Oh, fishing spot, maybe? Oh, we have no fishing rod. Well, forget that then. Somebody with a giant head wants some of our spare gas, but it's a really poor deal. Forget that. I'm looking for some great weapons. She wants the Uzi and the brass knuckles. Neither are really worth selling. Ah. You could get some trainings, were? You could get some shooting training. Wow, if only we had somebody with max shooting. Sturdy machete is very expensive at 12 food. Oh, I like this. Man, we, we worked ourselves to death in a police station for a gun and it just hands it to us. Ooh. Game's making up for the horrible... Uh... Uh, the horrible bandits that it gave us. What's it going to be? Green Giant says there are no deals here that we need right now. Really? Not even fitness training for your... Okay, sure. Just saying we don't have a lot of options right now when it comes to uh, fighting. Green Giant insists that we hit that road once more. Got a couple of snub nooses though, that's nice. We have so much gas, why not trade it in? Uh, that gas could be far more useful doing just about anything else. Uh, now that Digren is back up to fool everything, I actually want him to join the team. Bandits catch the group by surprise in a really terrible spot. They demand all food and all supplies are handed over. Your money or your life. Do we give up all food and all supplies? Or do we run for it? Second time that bandits demand all of our everything. 
Run, we have low fitness, but there's no choice, says Green Giant. Well then. The group decides to make a run for it, and again, two health points off each. That also would have killed Brute. Uh, fitness is revealed to be terrible for his work, if only he'd worked on it. So, he still heals himself up. Oh, fantastically. Uh, so, there's an innkeeper asking for ten food to watch over us while we sleep. We have 15, it count as a meal, so that's okay. A terrific breakfast, I'm told. Still, it's up to our team. Okay, uh, oh, Digren is here, awesome. And Digren says it's time to sleep. Well, oh, Digren's already resting up. That's quite funny. Well, as the only legitimate person who's here, they get to make the call. They want to sleep. And they get an amazing breakfast. Really perking ups were. Digrin has been here. Well, shows what I noticed. Zorba makes mistakes while scouting a town and gets cornered by a large group of zombies while unarmed. He's trapped in an alley. At the end of the alley is a heavy garbage is heavy garbage and a large fence. Use parkour or garbage. So strength check versus uh, fitness check. We know his fitness is terrible. We also know that he got a strength buff from the mysterious machine inside the uh, evil organization place. So die or die. Gamble on strength, says Digren. Well, go for it. Zorbum tries to fight the zombies off by throwing garbage cans at them. Doesn't manage to throw enough to stop their attack, he gets hurt. But his strength is better than his stamina. He fully heals himself and Digren up though. And I see bits flying off of our car, which isn't good. The group continues making progress and we get another trading camp. And why is it still just Digren? Hey, it's our old car. Oh, it's Glory Hail 14! She's been waiting for us to show up. They're a civilized mechanic. Do we take him or leave him? We also have some good food. I sell blunt weapons. A claw hammer and a ball peen out. Oh, it all sounds pretty terrible there. Bubba Buns here is selling anime. Buy no anime, please. Uh, somebody takes pity on our uh, lack of food, so they give us some free rifle ammo, that's nice. It's a pretty terrible camp, I suggest you leave. Alright, it seems that we need Glory Hail on the team, so welcome. Why is it Glory Hail again, asks Debs. It's supposed to be familiar extreme, not f extreme familiarity. Hey! Well, is Glory Hill around? Either way, having somebody with uh, Civilized is amazingly good. All mental checks are great. And look at that mechanical! This is great! And it could be the only way to keep this uh, hybrid car going, so I'll take it. Nothing else being mentioned, so uh, away we go. Crash Bite wants to be uh, Glory Hill, so sure. Until if they show up, there we go. You can be them. Loads of fuel, we're barely burning through it. However, we run into a house for shelter and plan out our next move. But there's a siege, an overwhelming siege. There's no escape for one hour. We've got to try to survive. As uh, were is... Wait, is anybody decent at shooting? Actually, Digren's okay at shooting. I think, uh, Digren, you have become the leader. You're not allowed to rest anymore. And you are taking that decent gun. Zorbam can keep his knuckles. Let's take the shotgun just in case things get really out of hand. Mm, there's a lot to not like about this. Glory Hill, hold on to that pipe bomb, could save us. And Zwer, I guess, carry that. Nightstick probably beats wrench. I didn't check Nightstick stats. Oh, you know, take both. Tell me which is best. Now let's go! Oh, that is slow recoil on the, uh... On the wrench. 
And I can't throw the everything at the zombies anymore, which is also pretty bad. Honestly, I'd rather be using the ammo than dying here. Suddenly those, uh... The 45 shells we picked up in the safe don't seem so bad anymore, do they? Uzi uh, weakness super low, but it's okay. I'll take it. Alright, we're just about done. No need to keep shooting there. Just smash. I said smash, you fool. Take that if you must. Oh, uh, wait, that'll just backfire. Alright, round we go, go. And out we go, go. Let's go. 87 zombies mauled to death. We make it out of there alive, and we should feel pretty good about it. We feel like we're getting used to this morale and random skill gain. Fitness, medical, or plus two to Glory Hills mechanical, which is already one short of being maxed out. Morale's okay-ish, unless your name is Glory Hill, because they hate this situation. They're too civilized for it. Green Giant wants the fitness. Shells matter much more when you don't have a team of four, I guess, says Barcode. Fitness, fitness. I guess we need the fitness, says Digren. Well then... Uh, fitness is revealed to be pretty bad across the board, but now at least Glory Hill isn't terrible at it. Three Zombo points earned. That, me that mechanical would have fixed our car, though. At the end of the day, the group hides in a drafty old house and the zombies roam outside. Who will barricade? Well, I'm not saying it should definitely be Glory Hill as the only mechanic here, but it should definitely be Glory Hill here. They're the only mechanic. Hey, it's your choice, though. Green Giant just simply says, Glory. Might as well be definitely me, says Crash Bite. There we go. Glory barricades the flimsy house. She quickly reinforces the problem spots. They seem very secure, but we are low on food and we eat less. Morale is down, especially for Glory Hill, who's very prone to leaving the group now. I bet aliens are responsible for these zombies, says we're. Glory Hill snaps and starts yelling insults at Digren. Digren yells back. It turns into a huge fight. Glory Hill's morale goes down even more. Digren's goes double down. The group will be. Uh, the group is asked for help by a settlement. They say they'll be raided by bandits soon. If the group helps them with defense, they'll get a reward of 15 food, ammo, and a cowboy rifle. But it could be very dangerous. Do we not help? Help them in the shootout, or Glory Hill, our mechanic, builds up those defenses. What's it going to be? Everybody wants those defenses built up. Glory Hill builds up the settlement, maxes out Mechanical, which is extremely useful. She quickly makes plans and gets people to help her turn the place into a fortress. The bandits are overwhelmed by the new defenses and flee without hurting anyone. We get the uh, rifle ammo, we get the Mechanical up, we get morale increased from rock bottom to rock bottom, though. Uh, but we did get a... wait, didn't they promise us a rifle? Well, gee, thanks. Oh, wait, that was the rifle. We had another one. Let's not get carried away. However, Glory Hill is so close to leaving the party right now. So close. Look at that flashing negative. Um... Oh, no. Glory Hill sneaks off when everyone is busy. She leaves taking nothing. Not even her personal supplies. There's a note left behind wishing everyone luck. Morale increased, but Glory Hill is super unhappy and gone. But, when a door closes, another opens. It's Barcode Battler. It's nice to see a familiar face. He's fighting a single zombie and suddenly trips and falls in an awkward mistake. Getting really embarrassed. He's a sound sleeper and he's a surgeon. Do we have Barcode Battler around? Green Giant wishes to take him on. Surgeons are also civilized. Get into the car, says Digran. On you come, Barcode. He joins the team. He's so-so uh, he's about the whole situation. We don't know much about him, though. He hopes to drive to Canada in a fancy car while well, we're driving a hybrid, which is shaking apart as we speak. Furniture is the natural enemy of the zombie. 
So, whilst driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. We go to the dark mansion, the grocery rescue, the mall rescue, or do we drive around a bit more? Our car is on its last bloody legs, and we just lost our mechanic. Wait, Zwerban wants to find the perfect katana? The Digra can't stop talking about bacon. You'll be happy if we find that pig. Why is it every time I'm around, Alpha Gamo dies, says Barco. Dark mansion, he also says. Groceries sound nice as Digren, but Green Giant's backing up the mansion idea. The group runs into an enormous mansion. There can be a lot of loot in here, and a lot of zombified looters wandering around. Warning flashlights recommended. It's very thick with zombies, but they are calm, and it's time to buy a new watch. Okay, well, Digren's taking up the front, but he's taking a flashlight. Barcode has his trusty scalpel. Uh, I'll give you a golf club as well, because I'm nice. Zorbam's still got his brass knuckles. That should be fine for you. I'm going to give you the wrench as well. I hope this is enough. I really hope this is enough. This might get a bit spooky. Remember, talking to the ghosts is a massive reduction in morale. So, consider that. I did take two flashlights. No, I did not. Okay. Uh, well. Let's make the most of this. Oh, sweet. Sons of Liberty. Forget that. For now, at least. I'll let him spread out a bit. Oh, it just gets better and better, doesn't it? Man, I miss having a swole team. Really miss having a somewhat swole team. Why? Why did we fight the bandits and <laughs> lose our team members? Supplies come and go, but Brute Queen. Brute Queen was one in a lifetime. Oh, it's just a wrench. Bah humbug. At least we can have a kind of safe-ish room here with everybody dead. Ah, just enough to cool off a bit. And then on come the zombies some more. See, why do people say that the golf club is rubbish? I think it's pretty good. I wish Digren wasn't so incredibly incapable in strength and fitness, though. I'm just taking you because you're better at shooting. Alright, good enough. Let's go, 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 go. These places don't match up at all. Ooh, fuel. Ooh, plenty of fuel. And another scalpel. Oh, no, my favorite weapon. Yes. Um, there we go. I still want it. We're under a lot of pressure here, though. It's as powerful as a spiked bat. That's how powerful the uh, spine with skull accessory is. It's also as breakable, I believe, but I still love it. Okay, trying to be systematic with how I check places out, but that's difficult when it's so incredibly dark. Right, we need to pick up the pace here. The reason we're doing so well is that the zombies are calm, but they get less and less calm as time goes on. We don't know what time even is in this building, but we still need to kill and keep moving. Hoocha. Wow, you saved my bacon there, Zwer. Thanks a lot. Look at them, they're speeding up. Oh, we haven't been here? Well, no good. No dice. Let's keep going. Oh. Tell you, spooky house here. It's got some goodies. 
11 food and a bunch of gas already. Oh, right, people always tell me to bring the hatchet with me, even though I'm not its biggest fan. Where have we been? Where have we not been? There must have been somewhere I said, oh, screw this. Oh, yeah, it was over to the left. Now I'm... Now I still want to go and screw it, but in a more logistical sense. Okay. Had to break through. It's a matter of time now. All these weirdos will start getting crazy real soon. Come on, guys. Oh, the door's already gone. <sighs> What's that? Jake just uses whatever he thinks is OP. He's a huge meta slave. Based on what? I'm fighting with people here that make their own characters. No synergy between them. And you guys even get to make the decisions. And yet I'm playing OP. Oh, maybe the joke was you wanted me to be wound up about that. It's not impossible. I want those pipe bombs, but I don't want to hold on to them forever, so... Yoink, and yoink. And just hold on to them. Don't throw them. The AI used to throw uh, molotovs and pipe bombs, and it was just the worst. You hand them over to them by accident, suddenly everyone's dead. Is there meta to this game? Uh, yeah. Great synergies that you can do to be practically untouchable. Uh oh, uh oh, oh man, I've made some bad decisions here. Thankfully, they're so calm. I thought there'd be some respite in this room, but there is not. Oh, this looks just as bad. What the heck is that thing? Well, no options to investigate, but we're getting. We're getting our life rocked here. Let's retreat a bit into this dead end room, okay? hell on the ammo, but I'm kind of glad I have the Susie now. Ah, I'll tell you what else I have. I know we just met, but I need you to save me, pipe bombs. I think it's a chandelier. Right, I'll have to take a closer look. Remember, I play with my brightness on my monitor at absolute minimum, so I don't tend to see very well. You guys see what happens on my screen better than I do. Okay, thank goodness for that decision. Chandelier has little to tell to us, though. Same with that one. Oh, sweet Jesus, come on. If we had Brute Queen, this would be no problem. We'd be slaughtering everything, no harm, no fuss. Now we're reduced to... Uh, these somewhat pathetic guys. What? Oh, what is that? It's not often I'm willing to give up my uh, my Scully thing. I'll get away from that. Something is getting sacrificed for this. What's the worst thing we have? Probably the nightstick. Yeah. Shame I'm so unfit and can barely use it, but yeah. Cavalry Saber, I think, and I'm certain it's great, says Andre. Well, we'll just have to survive with it now. Looks like it hits for multiple, which is already a big plus. If only I had somebody with high fitness and strength to use this weapon, though. We've been through here? Must have, it's full of the undead. Ah uh, yeah, we retreated up there temporarily. Very temporarily. A fighting retreat, of course. Still have more to explore in this room, right? Yeah, here we go. Let's take this chair with us. Crunch. Check out the spooky toilet. Okay, assuming that that's everything, which it isn't, we got a pretty nice haul.
But it's time to be greedy. It is always time to be greedy. Holy smokes. Full of unorthodox weapons here. Cavalry sword, brass knuckles, a skull on the end of a spine. Hmm, another crowbar. Crowbars are good, right? We'll see what Zwar thinks of it. <laughs> he prefers the skull, of course. Uh, that's not Zwar, it's, yeah, it's Barcode who prefers the skull. He has it right now. Too dark, can't tell. Where are the ghosts though? I was expecting some more spooky times here. However, this place is massive. Glad the flashlight doesn't run out. Imagine doing this without a flashlight. Been there, been there, not been here. Oh yeah, we have been here. I feel, and this is just a suspicion, that the zombies are not getting more riled up as time goes on. Maybe it's because time doesn't pass here. Okay, that's our lot, and I gotta say, it was a pretty good haul. Good gas, amazing food, decent meds, and some shells for things. We should ditch the car and find a big zombie we can ride around on, says Diagrand, ever the optimist there. We take, uh, take a break, eat six food, and carry on. We still have 34 left, which is still great. Car's about to buy it, though. Okay, it just ended. Now, Digran does not have the mechanical to fix this car. You need a lot better to fix a, uh, a hybrid. We could punch the car. If we really want to break Digran's fists. Or we could just abandon it. Poor car. Punch it, happy-go-lucky, says Digren. But two people say abandon. It might blow up in our face. It can do that if you punch it, so let's leave it be. All right, get ready to lose all of our everything. We're hoofing it now. While walking along the dirt road, Barcode Battler thought he saw a car. It was just a giant rock. Everybody becomes unhappy. Uh, we find a nice spot to camp, but rain and wind move in. It's a miserable night. No car to retreat to. Barcode is ready to pop. Didn't we have a... Okay, the umbrella did not help us there. But the food barely saved us from barcode snapping. Ah, but Zwerbam spots a car parked in the middle of the road. They rush over. It looks suspiciously like the car we started on. <laughs> yes, it does. And we found 85 gas in it. We've got 311 gas. Okay, there's a candy bar on the side of the road that's fun-sized. Who should eat it? Bearing in mind that everybody's pretty unhappy, but not everybody is that loyal. Well, Zwer is. We might be able to share it? I don't know. What'll it be? It's up to our team. Digran, Barcode, and Zwer. Napth says, Shame there's no chainsaw. You said it. Zwer is the leader, says uh, Green Giant. Barcode says, I want to eat it. <laughs> Hold on, so we're completely split. Diagram wants to share. Zwer wants to eat it. Barcode also wants to eat it. And Leader's already dead. Leader gets final call, chance Green Giant. Are you really the leader, though? I mean... All the initial Dream Team is dead. Oh well, he's claiming to be leader. You're also not... You're also the only person that's not the original here. Okay, well, chow it down. You feel a lot better about this, plus two to uh, to your morale for eating that up. The group is traveling close to nightfall and they see a city in the distance and the zombies are growing more aggressive as the sun sets. Do we see a pharmacy or an athletic store? 
Uh, it's only three driving days till Canada, and Athletic Store might get somebody to be not completely useless at uh, physical stats. But overall, we're pretty bad. Digren and Green Giant both say it's fitness time. Let's go. Shouldn't need that. Wait, was it getting close to nightfall? What time was it? I, I, I didn't see, but I think it said close to nightfall, right? No need for pistol. Uh, we'll let you keep both of those. Uh, you like the brass knuckles for good reason. All right, this should be okay. I would probably like you having a flashlight as well if it's getting dark now. Let's go. Whoa. No kidding about it getting dark. It's going to get super dark when we uh, get swole as well. Now Zwar could get swole and start using the sword as our main, or he could not. I'm not super... Oh, well he can pick up the shotgun and just smack people with it. That's what he's used to. He's our most fit person, and I'm a fan of putting all the eggs in one basket in this game. But we gotta do this super fast. There is no hanging around here. Ooh, this I like. Grab everything and go, lads. Consider this the gulp and go. There was another door in the west room. I said we had to go. But you're right, I felt that as well when I was le ouch, when I was leaving. Good thing we have our amazing medic, right? Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, Christ, it's already nightfall. This is pretty bad, it's pretty freaking bad. Right, that shotgun's going goodbye. Right, uh, before we get there, who's going to train their fitness, or strength, if it is strength? Oh man, this music stresses me out, something fierce. It's so unfitting with the rest of the game, that's the problem. Get all those zombies pouring in. But there's so much to loot, and one must always be looting. Alright, seems the team want to pour it all into his work. Now we just gotta find the place. God, this place is just pouring resources at us. Probably knows that we're not fit enough to carry everything. Sports and Yorts is south of the car. So there's a reason I'm hitting up the athletic place. Wah, Christ, retreat. That's because time passes when you use this stuff, which means it gets darker and even scarier. So, if we do all that, then at least once we do the getting swole, then it'll be a clean break out of there. Alright, come on guys. Speaking of clean breaks. Oh my god. Oh, we've got a clean break here. But it goes further south. Who's that nerd? This place is enormous. Wait, aren't we missing someone? Uh oh, barcode, uh, barcode get a bit of the munchies. This place is in ruination.
Oh! 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 Guys, you're being pretty aggressive there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Sports and yorts it is. Let's get swole while we can. Wait, athletic store? Oh damn, it's not gonna let us get swole, but it will give us an aluminium bat. Which is pretty good, so there you go, barcode. Uh, much as I love the other stuff. Damn, I was hoping we could get swole. Uh-oh. Oh, oof. I'm not falling for the air canister trick again, but kind of want to. What kind of self-respecting athletic store doesn't sell dumbbells and stuff? Holy Crivens! Alright guys, saddle up. This could be the last charge of the Light Brigade. Yeah, I saw the baseball bat with the nails in it. But we currently have better weapons. Fix bayonets and charge. Urgh! Ooh, another place. No, 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 no. Uh, come on, Zor. We are so out of here. Whew. Not great, but an aluminium bat is pretty good. Thankfully, we have, uh,. We have Zwer to heal everybody up and a good amount of food. Bet bandits will change that. Eat a decent meal and whoa! There's an injured moose. It's a powerful creature. Probably best not to mess with it. We could leave it alone, treat its injury, wrestle it, or die Gren with his pretty good shooting ability could shoot it. Zwerbaum with his pretty good medical could fix it, but that I don't think gives you anything good, I'm not sure. Both of these I'm pretty confident in, at least. I hunt for meat and fun, says Digren. Oh well. Digren tries to shoot the moose. It isn't very sportsmanlike. He whiffs the shot. The moose is not happy and stomps him up real bad. Double hurt for the Digren and his morale goes down. Well, I guess you're no monster hunter. Thankfully we have Zorbaum to stitch you back together. Fries the antlers out of you. The group gets frustrated because the CD player is jammed. It's playing the same song over and over. Who should repair it? Digren barcodes were, or we just turn it off? Now, Digren is our best mechanic, probably. He might be able to do it, but he's on a pretty bad roll right now. Digren says, can we make my character into less useless? This is your chance to redeem yourself, Di. Digran, make up for the moose chance, green giant, a.k.a. Zwerbaum. One last try for Digran. Digran removes the CD player, puzzles over how to fix it, and figures it out and repairs it. His mechanical increases to borderline competence, and everybody is a bit happier. Especially Digran. Your true abilities are now shown. Well, it's time to stop for some more supplies. A gas station siege, because we're obviously super short on gas or the hospital raid, or we drive around a bit more. What's it gonna be? I mean, uh, feels like we haven't killed anybody in a while. Green Giant wants a few more options, so does Digren, so we drive around. Uh, we could now do a barn rescue, or do the commercial row, or we could leave them all be. Could get some bacon, and I do know somebody that keeps talking about bacon, so what'll it be? Oh, we could use a uh, an extra member of the team. We don't have friend of dog with us, but we do have space for a pig. Digren wants the commercial row. Green Giant wants the barn. Barcode also wants the barn rescue. There might be Brazilians inside. Jesus Christ. Okay, they are sardine packed and they are hunting. And there's an animal to be saved in there. 
On the plus side, we will not be needing flashlights. On the minus side, pretty much everything else. Aluminium bat proving to be the better weapon here. Much as I love the spine with skull accessory, away it goes. We'll actually get rid of some of our crap here. Not a bad set of weapons here, to be honest. We'll keep the air horn. It might be a get-out-of-jail-free card. It also might not. Now, a fixed bayonets and charge. I gotta say, this would be an awesome team if they weren't so incredibly incompetent. We're being carried by good items here. Well, if that and the fact that uh, Zwerbaum can fix anybody with a length of thr- ah! You know, the, the house seems a much nicer place to be right now. Ah, what a great barn rescue. Ooh, there's a magazine in good condition called Cool Runnings. Stuff it into that pack. Yeah, well, they are hunting zombies. Go figure, they're aggressive. And they're pouring on in. Always be looting, though. Oh, dear God! I'm gonna need you to stitch that back together as well, Zwerp. Alright, take a step back. Blood was spilt this day. Okay, should be a bit better. That was bad. That was very bad of me. Not risking it. Not risking the team. Not now. Alright, come on in then, zombies. I'll give you what's for. Amazingly, though, Barcode ran through all that and did not get injured. Remember those hunting zombies, they're only going to get more angry and more hunting as time goes on. Oh, it sucks having a team that's so not swole. Uh-oh, uh-oh, let's get out of here. I don't like the situation in there one bit. Now, I don't like the situation in the barn either, but we're going to have to kill and keep moving. Wait, where's the animal? Uh oh. Chicken, help us! It's another chicken! Okay, it should follow us now. Uh, take the gun, please don't shoot it. Because I'm taking these eggs with us. Now, we nuggetified the last chicken. I can't tell you guys what to do, but please don't nuggetify this one. I want to see what happens if you don't. Maybe it does follow you, and we have happy, uh... Happy... Whoa, we got two. Nice. Maybe we have a happy little relationship together. I was hoping for a pig, but what you gonna do? Let's ditch the stuff, including... Well, the eggs can be super handy. Got a lot of these snub nooses, though. Not too bad on the weapons, but I don't think it's enough for the final siege. Oh, we are better than fine on the food. Okay, we now have the magazine Cool Runnings. Who gets to read it? I'm, I don't know what it does, but I'm assuming it's fitness. Zwer is the only person that has something kind of like fitness. But it's up to you guys. I do have a grudge with a truck of molten wings killing me before the other, on the other hand, says Warcraft. <laughs> Damn, running with swords is a good idea, says Digren. Yeah, the only reason I'm giving, I'm maining you is because you have the gun skill. Barcode wants, says uh, Warbound, but Green... Okay, everyone wants Digren to have it. Uh, he gets absorbed in cool running, and now his fitness has become just bad instead of awful. The group was able to get a chicken. Chicken wouldn't make for a good recruit. We could set it free or butcher it. Doesn't have much much meat, but it could be good for chicken nuggies. 
Chicken is friend, says Green Giant, but I need the rest of the team to get in on this too. Set it free, says the barcode. Off you go, chicken. The chicken leaves behind an egg. This is a sign of good luck, probably. We get uh, happy faces all around. Was it just one egg? Yes, it was just one egg. You have to eat it, though. There we go. Might save us, might not. <clears throat> nice! Full heal from happiness. Uh, the group is blocked by another survivor group. They set up barricades and they are distrusting and heavily armed. They send out someone extremely annoying. Who's going to deal with it? Digren's were or barcode? I forget what check this is on, but if it's attitude, Digren should be okay. If it's composure, Zwerbaum won't be okay. It's a shame we can't just knock him out. That is an option, and it impresses everybody. Detouring is also an option, but it'll waste probably food and gas. We have a lot of it, that doesn't mean we should be wasteful with it. Oblivious is great for this, says Roxo. Yeah, Oblivious is fan-freaking-tastic in most situations, that's the thing. Green Giant wants Digrin to go. Barcode also wants Digrin to handle it. Off you go, die. Digrin talks to the annoying representative. He somehow doesn't notice all the times the Dingus is annoying or insulting. The meeting goes well, the group is let past. Good job, Digrin. Your uselessness is coming in handy. The group sets up camp for the night after being sure there are no zombies around. Do we pick berries and become tired, or do we just go to sleep? Worth remembering that Barcode is immune to being tired. However, we're good on food and... Our two uh, physical attackers would get tired. Green Giant wants to sleep. Digran sounds says some, says sounds just like me at my work. You complain about them after they're gone, and he also says let's sleep. Get a good sleep instead of picking berries for eight hours. The road ahead has been flooded. Looks like we could maybe get through. The group decides to detour, plow, or jump it. The car would probably survive the jump. We would survive as well. We have meds to patch us up even if we take injury, but uh, it's up to you guys. Last time we tried to jump something in the car, it ended in total group annihilation. TGA for those of you at home. Digran wishes to floor it. They are the one uh, going for that. Uh, Green Giant and Barcode both want to detour. Jumping is for crushing the tax man. All right, detour it is. We waste a whole day worth of fuel and food. An enormous army of undead shambles around the carnage that surrounds the border. Well, maybe we'll be different. Let's hit up that trader camp. Somebody would buy our gas, which is probably an awful deal. It almost always is. Ugh. 20 food can just barely buy a chainsaw, but an extra meal is really good at the end too. What do we have here? I wonder if any of these would have their skulls still attached to the spines. Shame. Probably sell our excess snub nooses though. Ha, <laughs> hang in there. Uh, Red Blades is waiting for you. She's been waiting for you to show up. She has a mysterious past and is good at martial arts. Do we leave them alone or recruit them? I would trade my fortune for a real roll of toilet paper. Somebody is offering to give us bullets, which is a awful, awful deal. Oh, some people might wonder what this is about. You can stay in the camp. You can heal up and probably do other stuff, but forget that waste of food. Just drop the food in here for grenades or an Uzi. Hmm. Colleen almost made it to Canada. They've got good fitness, but they would cost 10 food to recruit. And they have a hockey stick, it seems. What else we got here? Wait, look at this nerd. Please don't mess with the display books. They're fake. I put them down to confuse book thieves. Books could be for nerds, or we could... I mean, friend of dog wouldn't help us right now. Map Atlas, I have no idea. Surgery, we have a top surgeon. Pretty useless. Eat that, nerds! Last check. Oh, it's uh, TBW in disguise. 
Bunch of firearms are here. Shotgun, revolver, cowboy rifle. We've got the lot. So, what'll it be, team? This is our last chance before we juke it out in uh, three onslaughts. Get that melee shield on board. Well, Red Blades, welcome. Is that our lot? Map book. Barcode wants the map book. How strange, given that we are very short on food for that, but... Uh, well, I do as you say. One map book, please. The group gains the perk Explorer. Great! We have nothing left to explore. What a waste of 15 food. Now, <laughs> Barco just says worth it. Okay, welcome Red Blades. You seem pretty useless. No, you're a martial artist. Uh, which means you have karate, right? Uh, let's assume the role of you and figure that out. Yep, yep you do. Not sure if that's better than using a half decent weapon. But uh, martial artists don't use guns anyway, so you are just a meat shield. You might as well use your martial arts. Uh, Digran has good weapons, but he's so weak. Still, we have chickens. We have a good few shotty shells. Probably just going to take loads of gun with us. Is there anything we can spare? Uh, might be a good idea to at least have some food for us. So I'll sell one snub noose and maybe see... Ah, oh, the blowtorch might save us yet. I'll hold on to it. It'll be the last case scenario weapon. Give red blade the red blade. No. Oh, sells for good money, but no. Uh... I wonder if he'd buy chickens. A little bit of food beats no food. Does he buy bats? Oh, he would. Hmm. Honestly, the way we're going, I'd rather have a full meal so that no one gets too unhappy. If it's food we need, we could always sell a bit of fuel. If we say if we trade 25 gas, we'll at least have one meal. Worth it. Although I hate selling gas. Who's this nutter? Yeah, we're hanging on in. Okay, looks like this is our team. Digran with sword and Uzi. Barcode with a bat. Zorbound with the horn and the knuckles. Red blades with incredible kung fu powers. Nobody asking for more things? Yeah, well, let's go then. Give her. Take. Giant armies of undead perpetually lurch around the Canadian border. Unable to cross, the group gets caught up in a lesser swarm. Army of Death, Siege Alert, near sunset, there's no escape, and we have to hide out in a house of all places. Well, let's hope the Uzi can get us through the situation. If they can't, the eggs might. Um, does anybody know? You're unknown when it comes to shooting. Still, just in case, please carry this shotgun for me. Please carry this other shotgun for me. Red Blades, please... Um, okay, carry this as well, please. We might need everything we've got. Red Blades, hold on to this pipe bomb for me. And while you're at it, hold on to the blowtorch. We never know what we're going to need here. Oh my lord. Oh, the layout here is terrible. But that's kind of to be expected. Guys, please, you suck at shooting. Well, it's better than dying, I'll give you that. I wonder about the directions you shoot theirs were, though. Do, 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 do.
this seems like a pretty good opportunity for... Oh! For my good friend the pipe. As long as we get back and I get my sword back. There we go, that should have thinned the herd a good bit. Getting tired and I can barely tell friend from foe from just stains on the ground now though. I know I'm slagging you off for using a gun, but it's probably the only thing keeping them back right now. Oh, <laughs> we came into here with 80 shells! We now have about 10. Alright, we should be good to escape now. Let's get going. Now you can explore your way to Canada, says Brute Queen, twisting the knife. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. We're getting a hang of this. Do we get morale, medical, mechanical, or plus two medical? All useless at this point, unfortunately. You know, something like fitness or strength, that I'd take, but what'll it be? Random, says Green. Veterans making decisions for some strange reason. Don't understand why. Okay, Green Giant's the only one saying, so... Uh, morale and Random says barcode, and Digran says morale. Discuss Canada streets. Every day is a great teacher. At least we get the high morale, that's good. Fitness for Digran, fitness for Zwer. Okay, nice. And fitness for Red Blades. I couldn't have asked for much better. I could have, but I didn't. Now, before we continue on, there's something very important we need to do, and that is spend those points. So we're going to take a quick break. Not that kind of break. Just coming out of this, going to the unlocks. What do we want? What's the perk that people have been wanting a lot of? Bows and arrows? Natural shot? Hold on, can I get both? Yeah, I can. Sweet. Alright, unlock bows and arrows. And... Unlock natural shot. Gain one point in shooting and shooting can go over the usual maximum. That sounds pretty sweet. Yoink. Thank you, Rambo. Train up shooting skill. Your shots will pierce more zombies. Victory grows near. Incredible. We already have trademark weapon, for what it's worth. Alright. That's our break. Done already. Wasn't that nice? The horror continues. Had to spend those points, you can only cap uh, 20 of them. The group prepares for the brutal day ahead of them. Canada is close, but the zombie forecast is bad. We eat a decent meal. Digren thinks there's... Digren doesn't think that there's that many zombies. Barcode Battler is excited for Canada. Zwerbaum is pumped up, and Red Blades is excited. Everybody's super pumped up, probably because morale is so high. Dexterity goes up, means we move faster. We're still driving, though. Okay. This is the final siege, but not the final battle. Army of Death, double exclamation. Four hours, all or nothing. We got the eggs, we got the Uzi with all of the pistol ammo. What little of it there is. Barco's got the shotgun and the rifle. Zwerbaum has no point in having the shotgun. This is why I kept two rifles, though. I had more ammo than we could take with one rifle. So if I bring two, I get all the, uh, the ammo with us. I don't know if this blowtorch is going to be any good, but I'm taking it just in case. This is it. It's been an honor, gentlemen. Let's make this count. I want and need everything there is. Every freaking thing there is. If there's fuel, then there might, might be a chainsaw around here. If there is, we must grab it as a matter of top priority. It's the only thing that could conceivably save this run. Oh. These won't save it, but there's something. Eat it! Ooh, nice gun. Nice weaponry. Taking it, taking it all, and then we're getting the hell out of here. Oh, oh, that's so nice. I want those, I want those a lot. Take the eggs. One, two, three, and we're out of here. Hold on to them still, though. I still want those eggs. Get out, get out, guys, get out. One, two, three, we're good. Anything up north? Of course not. Unreachable ammo? Not quite. 
Please tell me we can run around. We can, thank God. Quickly, quickly, quickly. No chainsaw. Alright, lads. Risk all or save none. Let me top up that shotgun for you. Let me top up that rifle for you. Uh, you can't even use Kung Fu if I'm hoarding all your items here. Okay, how about I take the shotgun, I drop it, take the Uzi back, and then you can continue doing what you do best. Alright, let's make it count. Also, let's use an egg. Let's use another egg. Wait, did a chicken not come out of the first one? I'm super bummed about that. Okay. We've got to make this count like nothing on Earth. Hell, let's just have all the chickens. I want to be able to uh, use the... Maybe the blowtorch. Maybe the blowtorch. I don't know. That's just too much. I don't know here. I've never had such a melee heavy team with- oh, oh shoot! Get away! The chickens are dead! Well, at least one of them's dead. Pipe bomb incoming, and we are outgoing. We can't hang around here all the time, we'll just get swarmed. We've got to kill and keep moving, damn it! I can't keep doing that forever though. Nuggetified the hard way. <laughs> can say that again, but please don't. Alright, don't like the way they're coming out of those. Oh, Christ. Pipe bomb incoming. Another pipe bomb incoming. Just trying to thin the herd here. I think that's the end of our chicken friend. Nuggets forevermore. Come on, team. I need every bit of power you still have. Now, I got a few shells there, but maybe fire is the answer. I'm, I'm thinking of you as the emergency shell you air. There you go. But will that fire spread, I wonder? Please spread. Oh. Oh, I'd hoped it would. What if I just stand here and do that? Hmm, I was hoping for something a bit more dramatic. Uh, anybody keeping track of the time? What time was it when we started the siege? I hope you don't say four. I'm hoping for, you know, three. Two would be better, but that's not gonna happen. Oh my god, Digren's dying here. Right, we gotta, we gotta circle strafe, guys. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I don't fancy my team's chances of getting through that. Oh, well, they made it, but at what call? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You want some of this? Come get some of this. Oh, my God. What? Holy Christ! We survived! I can't believe that! I thought our goose was cooked! Everyone's alive! Everyone's at full health! We have one chicken nugget between us. The border to Canada is just north of here. The group must cross the bridge, then reach the fort that serves as a checkpoint. This is the final challenge. Good luck. You can make it. Well, maybe. It's time for the ultimate weapon, the snub noose. The blowtorch is just going to kill me if I bring it with me, but... Oh, no, there are, there are weapons here. Great. You take that. Screw the shotguns. If there's no ammo, there's no point. Air horn sounds kind of nice, actually. I forgot about that. I could have used that at the final moment. Instead of dying like a... Well, you know. Alright, this is our lot in life. Let's make it count. 
Zombies are nerds. <laughs> oh, oh no, I don't, I don't like that. Let's take it easy. No point messing it all up at the final moment here. Even though there are a lot of them and they are mega cheesed. The blowtorch saved you and you knew it. Well, maybe. It killed like 10 zombies, maybe. But, 10 zombies deeper in that and we would have been toast. Maybe one person would have squeaked out alive because the zombies would have aggroed on the corpse. Alright, but we're still a fairly melee heavy unit. Even though we're crap at strength, crap at fitness, just generally crap. Digran, how do you get through the day knowing that you're just so rubbish? Right, I want to make sure we're safe in front and behind. You have a pretty good handgun and you can't kill these guys. Well... Time for killing and keeping on moving is now. Let's enjoy the awesome song and make this count. Can't freaking touch this team. Oh. They can touch us in new and interesting ways. We're here, Canada. Let us in. Please, let us in. Alright. Let's go time. We're ready to roll. Mecha Canada, save us! <laughs> How I love the mech division of the Mounties. Yeah! Cracks me up. I'm eating a poutine after this. Well freaking done, team. We had a lot going against us there. We had some incredibly cruel banditry. But all four have survived. Maybe not the original four. But we didn't even have to kill a chicken for it. Forget the the little chicks, so I mean, that, was, uh, that wasn't us. That was the other stuff. Anyway, hello, Canada. I like you a lot. Oh, hold on, I wanted to make that happen, but uh, he's, he's fire retardant. No, not anymore, he's not. <laughs> what? This used to be an achievement. Get smoked, Canada. Oh, hmm. He doesn't look so good anymore, though. Could you guys not get in my way? I'm trying to set fire to Canada. I tried. Onwards. I set fire to him before and got an achievement, but what do I know? Whew, 3,261 zombies dead. Good thing I had all my friends, said Redblade, who joined us at the last possible moment. Whew, gotta say that was really well done by me. With friends like these, who needs enemies? But what became of our team in Canada? <laughs> Red Blades became an athlete in the post Zombocalypse Olympics where Canada won every medal. Digren never got used to food, too used to junk food he scavenged on the death road. Barcode Battler was eventually banned from driving cars after destroying one every week. 
Zorbaum develops a cure for flatulence, which is then named after him. <laughs> this game is so freaking good. Chalk up one more win for familiar characters extreme. That was pretty fun. That was pretty damn fun. Let's spend those points.